Hey guys, what's up? So, I'm making another video on my Scion FRS and today we're gonna be working on getting a cold air intake on here. Now when it was hit, it was smushed in and the intake box right here was shattered. So all that was left was, you know, this tubing right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fabricate one. I have this metal tubing left over from my Scion TC the air intake on my Scion TC so I'm just gonna head, go ahead and fabricate this on here and I bought a k and filter at AutoZone so I'm just gonna attach that for now so let's get started on this one alright so this is what I'm thinking so I don't really know what so this is like the main tube right here but there's a whole bunch of other connectors like connected to it so I don't know if those are really important or whatever, but I'm thinking the best way to get this is, is to put it like right here. Like put it in through there and then just have the intake sitting right here. I think that would be the best, best place for it. So all I would have to do is just, is just cut this part out right here. So I'm gonna grab an ankle grinder and cut that out real quick and see, see what's the best way I can get it. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do is I have this angle grinder right here and I'm just going to go ahead and shave off this piece so I can be able to fit it inside of the tube. So. Alright, so I got the cut pretty straight. And I smooth this down so now on the inside it just there's metal everywhere so I'm just gonna go ahead and shave that off so that none of these metal pieces get inside of my engine all right so now that I got this tube cut out I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one and replace it with this one and I think that's a good distance right there hopefully it fits guys so what I ended up doing was this is the tube right here and I, I ended up cutting it at this angle right here so that way when I stick it in there when I put it in there the filter the actual filter can just sit right there so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is tighten everything up and see how much room I have
All right, and there you go. Doesn't look half bad. So I just added that. Now I just gotta see what it sounds like. So all I did was add it right here. I'm probably gonna attach, um, I'm most likely gonna attach like a bracket, like a metal bracket from here to like right here probably because this is just like wobbling down and I want it to be more sturdy so I'm probably gonna figure out something in the future I'm not gonna worry about it right now <clears throat> the only thing that I do have to worry about right now is connecting the mass airflow sensor so I got the mass airflow sensor right here is just hanging I disc the actual sensors inside of my car but it has to go in here somewhere so I'm probably gonna have to drill a hole and just stick it in there and see, see what it's like. Let me get it real quick. All right, so I got the mass airflow sensor out right here. So this basically just goes hooked up right here. like that and then this should go inside of there I'm probably just gonna go ahead and drill a hole big enough so this can fit in there yeah so this can fit in there and then just drill the screws on it and see how that goes right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drill a hole right here and then test the um, mass airflow sensor and make sure it fits in there. Alright guys, so I managed to get a, a pretty decent sized hole in here. So, so the mass airflow actually fits nice and snug in there. Now there's like a small little opening right here, but I can just go ahead and seal that off with like some type of sealant so I'm gonna just go ahead and put that in there and tying everything up put the the air filter and then what I'm gonna do is grab these these self tapping screws so I'm gonna just put them in there to hold the airflow sensor in All right, so now that I got that in there, I'm gonna just go ahead and tighten everything up and put the, the air filter in. All right, and there it is. So that's how, that's how I fabricated my air filter for now. <clears throat> All I did was add this piece, bought this. Added at AutoZone, it was $45. This I already had it, and I drilled a hole for the mass airflow, and it looks pretty good. Now that that's installed, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the car and I'm gonna erase my check engine light because the check engine light was on because of the mass airflow sensor since it wasn't connected. So I'm gonna erase it and then I'm gonna go ahead and drive the car around my neighborhood and make sure that the light doesn't come back on. All right guys, so I have this check engine reader right here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is plug it into the OBD2 port down here. So right there it's on and now I just got to turn on my ignition and read it. And that's the second one. This is the same ones that are pending. So I'm about to look up real quick what those codes mean. 
And so I looked up the first code P0102 and it says it's the mass airflow, which that's what we just finished changing because it wasn't hooked up. And then the second code was P0113. IAT sensor circuit high output. Intake, so that's the intake air temperature. So that's basically, it has to do with the air intake, I'm guessing, air temperature sensor intake. So we just finished, cause it's cause my car didn't have an intake on it. So I, I installed the intake. I'm gonna erase these codes basically. And if they, I'm gonna drive the car around my neighborhood you probably have to drive it for, you know, about 30 minutes or so. And if it comes back on, then I didn't fix the problem. But if it, it stays off, then that means I fixed the problem. So I'm just going to go ahead and erase it. Erase done. Oh, let me turn on my car and see if it erased it. Yep, there's no check engine light on. Alright guys, and with that being said, I'm going to end that video right there, and that's how you install an air intake on the Scion FRS. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and pay attention for my next video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to wire up these Spec D headlights. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.